Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Orange Galen, and I'm finally getting around to finishing off the Pokemon Evolutions miniseries. So this is going to be episode 7, The Show. And, like I said, it's been a hot minute um, before I, since I've done anything. Uh, I do have more content on the way, so once I get done with this, there's going to be new stuff coming out, and finishing off Bofuri as well. I have some things in the works already, but hopefully I'll get this out. And then the next one out of Pokemon Evolutions, like, soon. Yeah, I don't have a lot to say. So this is going to be Episode 7, The Show. And this is going to be talking about Generation 2, which is the first generation I ever played with Crystal. Um, fond memories, obviously, because you always remember your first Pokemon game. Uh, and Crystal just happened to be my first. And since this is going to be talking about Ho-Oh and Lugia... Um, the only one that I ever caught when I first played those games was Lugia, because it was the easier one to get. Because with Ho-Oh, you needed to catch all three legendary beasts, I think they're called. Yeah, Suicune, Entei, Raikou. And I just never did as a kid, and even now, as an adult, it's super annoying to do, because they're always running around. And introduce the roaming Pokemon concept, which is a thorn in many a Pokemon trainer's side, you know? Uh, but yeah, I never did that as a kid and still haven't done that in the Crystal and the 3DS download version, um, which I haven't really played at all. But in any case, yeah, I will say hopefully they have the music for Ho-Oh at least because Ho-Oh's theme is a lot better than Lugia's. Lugio, Lugia got the, uh, honestly got the worst uh, theme of a lot of the legendaries. It just does not sound good. <laughs> Ho-Oh's is amazing, but Lugia's, nah. Okay, so, just a reminder, this is free to watch on YouTube and on the Pokemon TV app, which is what I'm watching it on. So, go watch it there first, and then come and watch my reaction to it. So, without further ado, here's the show. Yeah, it's Rhinotar. One of the best Pokemon to come out of Gen 2. Hmm. <laughs> Hey, gold. I just realized it took me a moment. <laughs> they have the meow, the cat thing. Five minutes. It's interesting. Hmm. Hey, Morty. Showtime. Centuries ago, the people of Ekrutik City built two towers, nine tiers each, reaching high up into the sky. The Bell Tower and the Brass Tower. The towers attracted two legendary Pokémon Guardians. Ho-Oh, Guardian of the Skies. <laughs> Lugia, Guardian of the Seas. I like how they're using Pokemon in this, like, obviously, for this. Like, using them as special Popo effects. rested atop the Bell Tower. But the Brass Tower was the roost of the legendary Lugia. The people would commune with the Pokémon, and a harmonious friendship grew between them. Until one fateful night, 
150 years ago, as the tower was bathed in moonlight. Are we on? Hey, called it. Then Lugia's peaceful rest was disturbed by the tumult of a lightning storm. Be on. I like how the <laughs> I like how the Kimono girls always had the uh. The yeah, there's those grew. Pikachu. The sky filled had the, uh, with lightning. The shook with the sound of thunder until a tremendous thunderbolt came down and struck the tower. Setting the lofty spire ablaze. Fire spin? Until it became a mighty inferno. And <laughs> <laughs> Lugia flapped its wings and summoned a powerful wind to extinguish the fire. But the fire threatened to spread to the rest of the city. So Lugia called for rain, and the skies. Oh, I just realized that guy's probably from Sprout Tower. That monk guy. Before him. The rain battled with the fire, fighting back the flames until the fire was vanquished. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Wheezing in the background. Did you know that Vaporeon? <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. After that dreadful night, a new day dawned with the morning sun. <laughs> Overcome by the destruction the fire had wrought, Lugia fled. Hiding in the ocean's depths, awaiting the call of someone pure of heart before it can return to Ecrotique City. You know, Lugia is one of those Pokemon where like, you feel like it needs to have three types because I think it's a uh, flying and psychic type, but it also could be water type because obviously it's heavily to involved with day, the water, the oceans. The Literally, the second the movie is all about. Tower remain as a reminder. What was lost, and what will be again? Hmm. <laughs> Gengar. <laughs> Just the here's a tissue. I think this is Lugia's kind of f music, or I almost said remix, but it kind of kind of is. Yeah, I mean, good episode. I really liked how they bring like literally Pokemon and humans work together to present the show. I really like that idea, and it's something that you don't see all that often, you know. Um, like, I have, again, I haven't watched anything past the first, like, 20, 30 episodes of Black and White, and it's been years since I've seen the Pokemon anime, so my remembrance is a little rusty on that, but I don't recall anything like this happening in the anime all that often. I mean, you had the contests, 
And then you had, um, like, the one or two offs of certain episodes, but you don't really have that full-on theatrical play. Again, I know you have, like, the showcases, and I don't know if they have the Poker Studios in the black and white anime at all, but I really liked seeing the interactions of humans and Pokemon together. And also for this one, you only get that one shot of Gold or Ethan as... He's known in the Heart Gold Soul Silver remakes. You only saw that one shot of him, and that's vastly different than the other uh, ones. And I think the only one that was also like that is uh, Episode 3, because you barely see... I don't think you even see the main character in that one, or any of the main characters. Actually, no, wait, never mind. I take that back. As soon as I said that, I remember that you see Caleb a little bit. But yeah, good episode. I liked it. Um, so tomorrow you should be getting episode eight, the discovery. Um, and yeah, like, leave a comment, subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you all later for more. I will eventually get both out, but I also do have other stuff on the way. So keep an eye out for that and I'll see you all later.